The first step is to expose only the area of the main line where the inserted tee is to be installed. There's no need to disturb the bedding underneath the pipe. Secure the drill guide to the outside of the main line pipe where the hole will be. Next, drill the hole with the hole saw. Then, deburr the edges. Now you're ready to install the tee. Inserted tee fittings have three components. A PVC hub, a rubber sleeve, and a stainless steel band. First, insert the rubber sleeve into the drilled hole. Be sure the gold line is perpendicular to the host pipe. Then, apply the soap solution to the outside of the PVC hub and to the inside of the rubber sleeve. Aligning the red vertical line on the hub with the gold line on the sleeve when placing the hub into the sleeve. Place the wood block on the hub and firmly hammer the hub into the sleeve until the sleeve is aligned with the red line on the hub. Finally, place and tighten the stainless steel band securely over the sleeve. The fitting is now ready for the next lateral pipe connection per your project outline. All inserted T fittings are custom made. Unlike other products currently available, they're designed to fit the interior radius of the mainline pipe, which minimizes protrusion and will not interfere with post-installation inspection methods. They can be used as a lateral connection fitting with any type of mainline pipe, such as concrete, PVC, solid wall HDPE, ribbed PVC, fiberglass, corrugated metal, corrugated HDPE or polypropylene, CIP liners, ductile iron, and concrete manholes and structures. Inserted tee can also be used with any sort of lateral pipe from 2 inches through 30 inches, such as PVC, Schedule 40, corrugated HDPE, C900, or ductile iron. When you need a lateral connection, Inserted tee offers a compression fitting that's testable and easy to install.